Yeah, na. Okay, na. Uh, your question is: Did the foolish virgin? Sorry, did the wise virgin know know that the the bridegroom will tarry? Yes. It's a bad hour. It's a very trusty. So, this is my answer. The read that this is a more accurate answer in the Bible. No, they do not. No. Why? So, Brother Brady said they know. I say they do not know. How? Now, why did they buy extra oil? What did it? This should be the attitude of every Why? Christian. Do not presume yes. what you know is enough. Yes. That means to say, you leave some reservations. A Berean spirit okay. will presume what he knows is correct. Okay. But whenever someone wants to claim what you know is not enough, then you give him some leeway. You give him a chance to show it to you. The wise virgin and the foolish virgin were so certain that the bridegroom would come at, at, at the appointed time. Understand these key words, Mara Freddy. Reading between the lines. While the bridegroom tarried, the virgin slumbered and slept. When they slumbered and slept, and they woke up that their oil is running out, it means to say that it did not come at an appointed time. If the wise already knew it will be delayed, they did not sleep. No, no, they no. They did not sleep. They did not. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. If the wise knew, knew. That the bridegroom will tarry. He did not sleep. No. The, the poor they will sleep. The sleep is accident. But when you say they know, they really will sleep. You know the parable? You know the Matthew 24? Watch and pray. When you say watch and pray, do you know when the thief will come? Yes. No, they don't. That's why you could not sleep. You can touch the you don't know. But if you know what time you will come, you will sleep. You will sleep. You will relax. So, brother, brother Eric, you said you will not sleep because you know he will tarry. You know he's not gonna come and you're gonna stay awake. No, because you're gonna get some rest. No, I'm not. Brother, brother, it's a small interdiction. You know, when the president come and go to the no. They wait for a long time because they know that the president will come. Will come. So they did not sleep. When you say tarry, the president will come next week. Are you not going to sleep for a whole week? No. So, tarry, you, you, you will you If you know it's not going to come the whole midnight, the whole daytime, you can still rest. Yes. But their sleep is accidental sleep. They have been waiting until they fell asleep. That's not the point. The point I'm pointing here, I'm showing here is, if the wise knew that the bridegroom will tarry, they would directly tell the foolish. Did you know that you have to buy extra oil because the bridegroom will tarry? No, so you will not buy. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the wise. They, they do. Will directly tell the information to the foolish. But the wise did not. Okay. So the wise has a part in her that the foolish not getting extra oil. They might have a chance. They might have a chance. To meet the bridegroom. So they just, they just took extra trouble. When you say extra oil, it's extra trouble. It's Why? extra inconvenience. Why? Why? Extra effort. Why? And the foolish will think of the wise. Do you uh, do I have to do that? Laodicea. Do I have to do that? We are complete. 
We have no need of nothing, anything. So, I am rich. I'm enough. It's enough. What we know is enough. <coughs> have you heard? You heard the right. What pastor? Pastor? I read my little say. What are you saying? I'm going to go out of the book. What are you saying? And this is objective. Oh. I heard him say several times. Even from Kiapo and even here and some other place. He kept repeating, and you have to remember this. I'm saying this so that you may remember this. We don't need to hear others. You should be contented with what you have. I'm emphasizing this because this is what you're gonna encounter from them. They are contented from, let's say, they will say, we're not saying we're contented, but they only want to listen to their leadership. Yes. Their only source of revelation is their hierarchy. A Berean spirit is not always content. Even Pastor Bata told me that. I'm not, I'm not uh, saying any, any uh, uh, denigration to his reputation. I'm saying, stating an objective, and he's not going to deny that. You can be a Berean, even Brother Alan saying this. You can hear that? I have recorded this audio. Of course, it's in Tagalog. I'm requesting him English, he does not want. He said, I've converted lots of foreigners already. <laughs> That's my other. So, no need to translate. Because my course is enough, they're converted already. Of course, that's possible if you such a hope. Now, Brother Alan and Pastor Batak said the same thing. You can be a Berean if you don't know the whole truth yet. But if you are already in the whole truth, why do you still need to be Berean? Similar to what I heard from Kiapo and from this area, the pastor message said, what are you looking for something else? You should be contented. Let's go to the foolish. Why do I need extra oil? That's extra effort. Yeah. That's extra effort. Uh, and we, the problem is supposed to come and we don't need to, those excess baggage, you know excess baggage, unnecessary things. Yes. And maybe some of our previous brethren believe what I teach is ex excess baggage. Excess baggage is unnecessary. Unnecessary burdens to the brethren. Oh, those poor souls under the yoke of the, <laughs> of the false prophet. Okay. The bad man teaching. So, excess baggage is what the foolish look at what the wise did when they bought extra oil. Now why did why did the wise why was it okay for the wise that the foolish did not buy extra oil? Although they could have advised the same thing already. We have to buy extra oil. What is in the mind of the wise? Just in case. This is to answer Sister Chin, a different answer from Brother Freddy. The wise did not know Extra oil is extra precaution. When you go when you go abroad, when you go to the province, do you carry exact fare? No. No. None of us do. Because it's wise to carry extra money. Just in case. That's natural. Amen. If you carry exact fare, you're gonna be begging money in the streets. So that is what I am referring to. The wise did not know. But it is a good spirit to have reservations. Right. A Berean does not presume he knows everything. Right. So they that presume they know everything, Are they, in real time, they, might, they could know all truth. But the, the real time is different from we have time. So, eventually they will be 
left off. Eventually, they'll be left off. So, we, we must think in a contingency measure. Let's say your son or daughter is going to school. You're, there's no danger yet. But we should prepare. Amen. And if there is a revelation, there is a discernment, there is proof. If we're bereaved, we can prove it. That a high percentage of probability, they will be corrupted. Amen. You take that seriously. You don't play, you don't play games or gamble their lives or spirituality with it. You take precautionary measures, which is the homeschool program. Amen. You take precautions by implementing as early as possible. <coughs> they set up the training, the scribe reports. You assert authority as early as possible. Because it's harder to assert when he is old, he or she is old, although it's possible. But what if if if, the, if your children will not knock you off, <laughs> knock you down? They can run out. They can run off. They cannot go home. They 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 have the capability not to go home anymore and rent some place. They could earn money. You're in a hurry to get them graduated. So. This uh, this contingency measure, it's in there. It's in there. Uh, this reservation is in there. The extra oil is reservation. They are not sure. You can connect that verse in Matthew 24, watch and pray, for you don't know the hour to come. He can give you some idea and what you should be doing. This also is also filled with instruction. Okay, what's your question? Uh, English? <laughs> oh, if you go back. Uh, uh, if, huh? English. English. English, okay. If you, receive, if you receive the message from the beginning, it's always the same, the message. But the Bible there, uh, gives the instruction for purifying the message. If you are not going to progress in how to make it perfect, the message, because the Bible gives the instruction like this. Well, ask the question. This is the question of purity. <laughs> not just in answering, uh, also in question. Uh, <laughs> before, before that, uh, because like the real, like okay. the real. Uh, the Berian, if uh, the Berian is our po uh, basic foundation for progressing. But the Bible say there is a seven times purified. Like for example, the words of the Lord are pure, pure word, a silver pride and four days on earth, purified seven times. Question, the question, question. The question, when you receive only very young, but there is a message to progressing, going to become a seven times perfection, a seven times purified, my two matting the message. Not to make the message. And there's another message, another message, another message, another message. Seven times. What is the question? The question did 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 go on to the progressive? Okay, then what? The question is? Uh okay. The first question, you receive the real. The Berean is not enough. Uh, uh, after the Berean, there is another message. At, uh, what do you call this? To seekers. To seekers. To seekers. Oh, another terminology. Oh. Uh, the, the, like, like, for example. Wait, wait. When I if see. If say Berean, is not to oh, seekers. When I see that the, the Berean did not adopt the seekers, they cannot know what is truth. So the very end, the seekers. So I'm going to summarize that. Okay, my question, uh, if the very end cannot adapt the spirit of the seeker, do you think that this very end know the Okay, so I'm going to answer the others. Say <laughs> seven times purified. 
how can you say that? What, what is your Okay, I'm going to answer the two the questions. Okay. Maybe first, my, first. My, my, my brother, brother, uh, brother, 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 First question. The first is through seekers. Is this through seekers? No. No. Okay. The same that answers it. Okay. If the Berean cannot accept a seekers, what, what happened in the Berean? No. I didn't say cannot accept. I said because the Berean they are not because different. Because the Berean is not different. I just say the Berean is no, not through seekers. I say not different. Understand the word different. Okay. <laughs> no, hindi, what I call that, if the Berean hindi tinanggap niya, hindi not, did not accept the seekers. He will, said, not reject, he will not reject. He will not reject. Oh, hindi niya sila nagsalisig. Pwede ba siya maging Berean din? He will you, not don't, you, don't, you don't call it Berean anymore if they do not want to Amen. check it out. Okay? So, so, number two. Easy. Let's go to number two. It's already settled. Oh, sige, seven, seven times. <laughs> How did you explain the seven time interpretation to go progressive? Because the a parent spirit is progressive. Amen. If God intends it to be seven times, it will be. Yes. Right. Okay, okay. Next, 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 next. If there's another message from another message, did you accept that? It's on the yes, yes, yes. Okay, next. This, uh, the, the Wait, Sister Chuck, you have a question? No, no more. Uh, I'm done. You're done. My question is, uh, I will shout there, there, there is a uh, uh, moment here that why we, we should go to another uh, preacher or another group to, to listen. Search, to listen. We should be contented. Uh, are, are, are the pastor here or the elders here? Is the message here not enough? Yes. Okay. Uh, Okay. This is our parable. The foolish were asking for oil. That is no research anymore. No per buying in the marketplace. No buying to those that sell. Because you just asked for the oil. So that now in person. That means to say. You cannot just ask for the oil. You have to buy the oil. So, not the oil. If, if you not do not buy. want to, you cannot just ask. Okay. You cannot. Can you do that every time? No one's going to give it to you for free. Okay. Mm. Do not mix it up with other examples that uh, the grace is free. Actually, it's not exactly free. It's, you're discounted. That's why it's like free. Okay, but let's go to the oil. Since it is not free, you have to buy. Then if you are not going to hear others, then you are presuming others are wrong. You are not different from those making an empire for yourself. Amen. Look at the empire. I'm talking an empire. Mega churches. The mega churches, the mega churches, they press, they are contented. They presume they are. They, they presume they have everything they need. Oh, yeah. they have everything. They, it's not know everything. They have everything they need. They will not. Uh, they will not claim they know everything. You, you, should, you ask them certain things. We don't need to know to know that. The answer is we don't need to know that. Why? That's close-mindedness. Oh, we already have that. Oh, we don't need that. We have our own. Oh, that's my main teaching. There are many presumptions. Some much far worse than the others. But eventually, oh, being a Berean, you don't leave anything to chance. If someone comes here, he tries to... He tries to... Uh, he tries to challenge our belief in the Bible. Look at the evidence. Do not use your emotion. Oh, there's one God. Uh, that's the Muslims, that's Catholics, those are other religions. They use emotion. Use 
If God is a God of truth, He gives you enough evidence, the important facts, the important things. Allow yourself to be challenged. Because when you know the truth, 1 Peter 3.15, you become stronger. Okay? Someone is saying that very manalili. We are very... Do you want that sakal? We are... We're very... Restrained, restricted. But but to them, to them, they are not restrained. They are not restrained. Yes. So well, invite their invite their young people to teach. <laughs> so uh, we we have to ask our pastor. What? Uh, you invite to some reverence from them to come here. You have to ask permission from the pastor. Sometimes some previous disciple told me, Oh, how, what, why do you demand your disciple to ask permission from you if he's going to join our seminar in the province? So they are so biased. So it's the other way around. Yes. It's not true that we, we, are, are, we, that. we are constrained here. The fact that we want them to hear others on an equal scale, on a level playing field, that means to say there is no constriction here. <coughs> Maybe we can say constriction restraint from worldly things. Yes. So, yeah, Walt Disney. Huh? How many you or what? <laughs> so, what? There are restrictions on certain enjoyments in the world. But spiritually, who is more restricted? You know, I grew up, I grew up here before. Two worlds. On the other side, you are a prisoner, but you are free to do worldly things. On the other side, you are not free to do worldly things. You are a prisoner of Christ, but you are, you are at liberty to prove all things. So this is an alter ego universe. An alternate universe where in one side you are free on one aspect, but you are not free on another aspect. It's like worldliness versus righteousness. But there is a little... Question. Second Corinthians chapter three verse six. Would you paraphrase what you've read? Oh. Who also understands evil ministers in the New Testament? Wait, wait, please do not interrupt. Please state your question. Not of the letter, but of the spirit. Ah, yeah, yeah. For the letter, but the spirit gives life. life. What is the full meaning? Meaning, but uh, letter is both. Now, have you heard the father say, oh, it's not said by the prophet? It's not written in the Bible. Where is it written in the Bible? The word Perean. The word uh, permanent. Dwelly. Where, where is the term Trinity or Rapture or what? Now, uh, the letter kill it because sometimes people use the written word to restrict understanding, to misrepresent. When you share with uh, Eliseo Soriano, dating daan, oh, where, where is it written in the Bible what you said? But they never notice their own minister, their own pastor, their own apostle can explain things not written in the Bible. But mm -hmm. I was challenged that in Facebook, I told him, oh, where is it written in the Bible? Uh, master of religion. No, you misunderstood. You, you, you also created the same for me. Why can't you explain the same for you? So, the letter kill it because you do not understand the letter. You misunderstand the letter and you reject reading between the lines. The Jews rejected Christ because they could not see beyond the veil. The veil that covered the face of Moses was a type of the letter. You have to go beyond. That is reading between lines. You have to understand the revelation. Now, the letter will substantiate the, the thought, the
the spirit of the letter will substantiate the truth of the letter. But if you do not get that, that understanding, then that letter could kill you. It could be your stumbling block. Any question? 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 Any I know the actress brother Branham has a plagiarism. Yes. Then, according to the Bible, Jeremiah 23 verse 13, for the sake of my question, therefore, behold, I stand against the prophets. Say the Lord that steal my words, everyone from his name. So. How can you explain the plagiarism? The accused Brother Branham plagiarism. Why? Because Brother Branham quoted Clarence Larkin. Then Brother Branham claimed that this revelation is coming from God. So is it a stealing? Now Brother Branham claimed. Wait, let me answer. Ah, yeah, yeah. Progressive revelation is not stealing. He did not deny he learned it from it. It is the intellectual property world. There is a copyright requirement at least if you acknowledge where it is. There is the Bible that put those. Okay? So, Brother Branham acknowledged those people whom he learned. I acknowledge Pastor Jerry Gomsa, Pastor Jack, and many others. Even me. But I learned something from him. Okay. So doesn't there's nothing wrong with acknowledging. There's nothing wrong with acknowledging. We learned it from someone else. Because no one is an exclusive distributor like Jesus Christ. Exclusive distributor of God. So let me just say we are all reverence under Christ. So each one of us, this is what the Bible said, receive some measure of grace. You know that verse? So each one that receives the measure of grace, we should work to each, each, with each other. That came from God. Amen. No pride here. I am not proud that, oh, it did not come from me. I would not recognize. No, if you recognize God, you, if you will recognize even if it passes through your detractor. Amen. Even if the person is a wicked person. Yes. Then, if you learn from them, the intent is for you to know, to get the benefits. You know the stock, the, the, the stock of the plant turns yellow. The nourishment, the nutrition goes to the seed. Until the seed is harvested and the stock is burned. So even if you learn it from someone else who is not of God, since you are Berean, it was intended for you, it's not intended for them. Stealing is misrepresenting. Okay. Hello, did, did Brother Branham when he said, Ask yet the Lord. But that quotation is coming from Clarence Larkin. Thus said the Lord, he explained. Thus said the Lord is for word of knowledge. But he did not recognize that that tacit the Lord is for that paraphrase is that that the Lord becomes an expression. Okay, becomes an expression when you see something you emphasize on it. So now whether it came from someone else, it's all right. Amen. I can say thus said the Lord in the Bible. The Bible never was mentioned in the Bible. Thus said the Lord in because it's in the Bible. So if you don't use the Bible. Then it is something supernatural. You live in that street. You you uh, you have this kind of disease. But if it's about revelational truth, that saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, that revelation does not come supernaturally, as what others understood. Oh, it was revealed to me, not by men. No, God intended that you learn from men. That's why the prophet had that experience. That's why Jesus Christ said, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? There's, 
it's the purpose of God that you also learn from men. When Paul said what I learned was dumb, it was not what he learned in the law, it was the short-sightedness of it. The period, the stoppage in the revelation, that is dumb. It was being content with that, that is dumb. But if it's progressive, what you learn in law is, is a stepping stone. It's a schoolmaster. That's what the Bible says. Okay. That's all. No more, no more? No more. No more, uh, no more time. Last, no last more question. Time. Wait, do you, do you want to give Freddy a chance? No, next time. Next, next time. Last question, but. Give him a chance. Okay, raise your hands. Who's for Bar Freddy? Bar Francis, give, it, give him a chance to, an, to ask. Ready for president. Uh, but the answer uh, is this. only five minutes. Okay, five minutes. No, no, no. But five you, minutes, not uh, I'm going to give, I'm going to restrict your sentence. Two sentences. Yes. If you exceed two sentences, uh, I won't entertain your question. Okay. You have to ask yes, directly. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. This bottle is corruptible water. And this is the purified water. Yes. Okay, when the first bottle goes into the purified water, what happened the first purified water? It will, will be break. Will be, uh, no. It will be break. Yeah. It will be mixed. What happened? I, you know, I couldn't understand your... So, if, if, the, the, is a Bible if the corrupted water, you cannot put it in the purified all water. All skins. Okay. Um, this is say, you cannot receive progressive revelation unless you have a change. Okay. Yeah. You have a new attitude. It, my example is word. And the example also that. the water. So the water, and this is the water also. This is the, <sighs> the, the un, a corruptible water. This is the marami mo. Kiti kiti. I'll tell you what is corruptible. Linagay mo sa, if you mix into the purified water, malinis, it will be corrupted also. It will be corruptible also. So, this is what you do. You remove the corruption. So that's why he needs... You get only the water. Okay, that's the answer. Okay, let's give up the water. And brother, try to give us a closing prayer. You are the... You are the persistent... Francis! You are the one to pray because you are insisting last week. Okay.